you you guys are going to get exhausted. I was, I was like, I, cause we were already even talking about it. Hell we were, people were getting exhausted with just training. Like I got, you know, just playing every weekend. And plus, you know, it's like when you play a competitive six V six for four games straight, that, that is draining right there in itself. Except for when we played like you guys, that was just fun. That was super fun to play BCL. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, main one of our big problems was uh, the people that we have to play don't play the game anymore. So we, there's like, it's very, yeah, extremely. Our positioning was has been terrible lately. Like our last game was, I mean, Camel guys, they're fun to play, you know, and they're a pretty decent team. There's no reason why we didn't steamroll them other than everyone's positioning was just dog crap when we were playing last. <laughs> yeah, gainer back to back. No, dude, it wasn't just the horse archers. It was the round beforehand too, where he didn't understand that we were rushing, and so we had no cab when we went in. We're like, uh. <laughs> I mean, that stuff happens. It just sucked that that was back to back and tanked us. Like, I mean, there's no, is you know that that I mean, we couldn't come back from that because we had already lost one round. That was it. I'm honestly fine with that, though. I don't really care. Cause I, I mean, I didn't even want to show up to the last few games. It's just kind of... I don't know. I'm just bored of Man of War. You can only play so much of a game. I can't wait for mod support to come out, because really all I want to play is Napoleonic Wars. Yeah, or just something with guns. I like guns, but <laughs> the Napoleonic Wars or Rough Riders, something like that would be so sick. Lord of the Rings would be cool. Um, I don't know anything about Game of the Thrones other than it was like a knockoff of uh, the War of the Roads, apparently. This is in there. Oh, they got cav on cav battle. Guys are still in fire mode. It's kind of a new move. Wait, they went six cav. I just realized it even. <laughs> <laughs> They're just memeing now. Gunner's half wiped already. That's not good, dude. <laughs> I wish we could see the scoreboard more often, though. Yeah, I think, like, a note... Well, if I had been watching SMB streams more often, I probably would have said, like, hey, man, every now and then, just, like, hold the scoreboard up for a few seconds. Let us see. Yeah, yeah, I know, like, it prevents your vision, but, like, like if, you, if you're, if you like, running to see, you know, like, you can hold it up for a minute, right? Yeah, I'm always checking the scoreboard, because I want to know, like, the numbers on each team, who's got what, you know? I guess there's those red lines at the top, but honestly, I just always use the scoreboard. Oh, wait, actually, the red only shows your team. So. Yeah, it just 
Yeah, it's kind of interesting from a game design standpoint, though, that that you can't see the red lines for the other team. Like they're like, oh, you can't know what they have. That'd be overpowered. But if you hold to blowing up your scoreboard, you can. I'm surprised they went six calf because B Pal's biggest problem always is their calf play. <laughs> it's, it's like six calf anyway. <laughs> they have no, they they don't have any calf players. Yeah, I was gonna say it's been a it's been one of those rat like one of those days where they probably just feel good about it, you know. I really wish we could see the numbers, though. Yeah, it's hard to see who's winning right now, but because I want to know how many spear infantry they have left on the other team. Are they? Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Wow. Are they on NA right now, maybe? Because <laughs> half of these games are supposed to be on EU. Yeah. But was it, well, sort of. Like, a lot of their players are... They have NA players, but they, play, they have EU as their server. That's why uh, Mace was, was. I moved Mace to uh, BOA because he didn't want to play on BPAL because BPAL was in a. And he didn't want to play on an A server. Well, I think Galen. I don't know if Galen is or not. Oh, man. Look at that. Damn. The dismounted Cav comes in, just starts hacking away. What a bloodbath. We actually it, had a game I, again. Dude, yesterday, one of our camel games, we like decisively destroyed their infantry. We thought it was over. And then out of, of nowhere, the, we had all these dismounted lancers that we had taken their horses from earlier showed up and just like slaughtered the dudes. It was crazy. I mean, honestly... You know, like, a, a, a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people know this by now, but it's like no one tries it for some reason. But dis, dismounted Lancers are, like, the best shock troop in the fucking game, dude. Like, improved armor with that glaive, and that glaive is already longer than every other, like, glaive in the game. And they do so much damage when they come running up. And they're basically tanks because they're improved armor, too. Like, it's it's just insane. It, yeah, you only get nine of them, but if you complement it with, like, a spear infantry, man. What's that? Did he just say he's not updating this? Cool. Yeah, that's the way to go. I mean, that, that'll yeah. kill them quick when you do it that way. 25 to 5.
<laughs> yeah. This is not not BOA's brightest moments of the or yeah, okay. brightest highlights of the season. Oh no! What is wait? What is BPAL doing? Are they going to end the season just running six Cav? <laughs> no, my life is a meme. <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah, there's. They got two out. Oh, oh no. Yeah, they both got two out, right? No. Oh, never mind. One X came back. Yeah. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Sorry, I'm yeah. Back. They're doing cab again. Wait, it's six v six cab. Whoa. No. <laughs> It might have it might have been because uh, you know how like when you die sometimes it changes. <clears throat> yeah, well, Cro Croton was probably like, dude, we could totally take these guys on fucking cab. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah like, like, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. They don't have any calf players. <laughs> they want a six calf round. <laughs> Interesting. You know, this might turn interesting here because BOA might realize that if they can, if, if BPOW doesn't know how to counter six CAV with one, uh, infantry, then BOA can just camp CAV right now and win. Yeah, that's. I think that's what they're doing. That's going to be the plan here so that it's not a complete shutout. Oh my god, I just seen a flying CAV. <laughs> No. Oh, that's going to hurt them. They still had bows out. I think they... Oh... Yeah. Everyone's just living in the moment, enjoying riding around in all the chaos. <laughs> Look at all the horses just running around, or just standing there. Tiger's wife. <laughs> Rosie got two. Oh, wait, no, it's just one. Some, uh, someone still has a full horse unit. They must be Ramboing. Oh. I mean, they should be Ramboing, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I mean. You should be running shields and throwing them in the formation. Yeah, I think I would by this time I'd probably swap to like maybe four cav, two imp with spear infantry. And uh 
try to try to run that on some flag play. Also, you can just run like no for for B pal. I think that's what I would do. And the reason I would do that is because you can get all these enemy AI cav to chase you and just run right into your infantry, your own infantry, and your own infantry will just chop them up. That was how uh, that was how we started to beat DM towards the end, which I had crashed, and uh, so I didn't get to actually be a part of it. But they were I was watching some of the video on it, and uh, <clears throat> whenever they were running their six cav bullshit on us, that was one of the things we did, and we won. And then the next round they went like all inf, and so we were like, oh. <laughs> Well, D DM doesn't normally do that. Normally, DM will run it even if they lose. That's just that's just DM. They believe like they're very confident people. Yeah. Well, I mean, r round wise, that's what I was talking about. Like they usually don't swap up on rounds. Yeah. They might if you beat them two rounds in a row. They'll be like, oh, all right, yeah, we got to do something fun fucking different right now. But <laughs> I know. I told you that, like in in the skirmish communities that I'm in, that's how they talk. That's how they talk. To, that's what they tell everyone. They're like, "Yeah, we couldn't win beast this year, so we're just gonna win captains league as a joke." Haha. -ha. And everyone else is like, "Oh yeah, you go ahead, go show them." Blah blah blah. And I'm just like, man, I literally want anyone to win besides DM. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Calling them all it just makes them sound scarier. <laughs> He's like, if you just go, yeah, we picked up some randoms to just throw in here for this game. It's like, oh yeah, that that builds confidence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair. Wait, what was it? Because oh, he didn't, because he didn't recognize the names. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's I mean there's there's been some very questionable plays here today. Like the archers and then like I, I mean the six cav is a pretty pretty easy one to kind of like learn, I guess. Six cav should not be winning against Kuzavi. Yeah, it, it's like, especially if both teams are just hitting charge and then just going in there and just going into the chaos. Oh, I like that. Who's running? Someone's got their shields in their circle form on Cav. It's Godzilla. Good. <laughs> Dude, Godzilla. He's going to be jumping on some people. You know it. That's how Godzilla plays. Yeah, I, I noticed that Solid didn't get in. I guess they, well, they probably because they picked up that one guy. Solid was like, all right, well, I'm out. Go back. He was playing skirmish anyways whenever I pinged him. Yeah, yeah, they had enough. They didn't need solid on there. I'm glad Tiger got to play though, because he really wanted to play in a league match. But I told him the league had already started, and I was like, "Yeah." And I, I, I had already, I told him too. I was like, "You know, we, uh, we probably because we have other alts that still want to play that are really good that we would probably use over him." And I was like, "No offense, it's just they've been here longer." 
And he was like, oh, yeah, no problem, man. He was like, I'll just play in all the pickup games if you guys want. And I was like, yeah, that that's cool. It's a good kid. You get... Hey, what's up with, like, all right, every CRCC game, right, that Spartan gaming guy is just, like, easy on any game that he wins. <laughs> I, I I honestly thought I didn't know he did that for everyone. He did that for us though. I just I've figured seen, he did I've, it. I've seen it in we, every screenshot that I see CRCC win around. We always we or, always yeah. troll that dude in online though, like when we queue against him. <laughs> that, that's probably why. His his clan or Discord just uh merged with CRCCs. And so that's probably uh, I'm guessing that has something to do with it, but it, like I notice it in like the win screenshots because every now and then I'll peek at the comments in the bottom. You know, it's it's usually GG, GG, well played, things like that. And uh, anytime I see him in the game, it, like it, one that they win, all I see is EZ just spammed like you know thirty Z's. <laughs> yeah, no, he's not. He's not very good. <laughs> you should you know what you should do you should make a video of y'all like stomping him while you're watching one of his youtube videos and then post that video and send it to him <laughs> and then he'd just be like oh <laughs> big sad is he uh i I've never talked to him, but like whenever he's on my team, he's like always complaining. Like I'll suggest something, he'll be like, "No, that won't work. That's crazy." I'm like, "All right." And then like Eternal had to mess. Eternal randomly messaged me one day. He's the leader of CRCC. In case you didn't know, I'm sure you do. But but he messaged me one day. He goes, "Hey man, uh, I just wanted to apologize," and I was like uh what for and he goes well uh i didn't realize we were still recording and i was like what and he was like oh yeah one of my guys was just talking mad shit about you like through the whole recording and i was just like uh all right and he was like so i just wanted to say sorry i was like dude it's cool i don't give a fuck <laughs> I, was, I was like yeah it's fine i was like if you would have never told me i would have never even known <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it's it's what I call competitive banter. You know, like you just it just happens, especially like cause half the community gets fucked up too. Like everyone I play with is always getting fucked up as a goat. I mean, so like, like what do you like? You're gonna you're gonna hear that shit. You know. Oh yeah, it's still it's still a small community, and I try to like, I don't know, I try to try to keep in touch with everybody if I can, just to help out and all that, keep the game going. Half of these people are in this game. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I, I I play games. It's like the the titles are there, but the people are just brand new. <laughs> yeah, there's some people that are really friendly in this. And then, I don't know. I just don't know most of the people. Why are they just sitting here taking all the arrows like a bunch of noobs? Uh, I think it's, I think, I think it's because all the infantry is. Oh, I know they went six cab, didn't they? Yeah. Why are they doing that? Maybe they're worried that they'll set up a crossfire. No, no. They're getting cross. Why? Their infantry is getting yeah, but well, the problem is they're gonna take they're gonna absorb all the damage from these arrows, and then all they gotta do is dismount their that their works. mounted glaive and just walk in. They don't even have to <laughs> dismount at this point. I think they can do it on horseback too. Honestly. Yeah, I mean they'll probably get the charge damage just and take out two or three rabble. 
would probably be good to run. Oh, there it goes. Uh, SMB just suggested pushing. He said push. Oh, it's too oh late. they're trying to get back on their cav. Oh, wait, no, they ain't. <laughs> yeah, they're like, oh, shit. <laughs> they're faster than the Lancers. If they just start rushing the Lancers one by one, they'll be fine. On foot, that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I just refreshed and I see all those lancers get killed like on the thing. It's just like eight dead lancers. Nope, no at all. I didn't think of it. Well they got rabble and everything on the ground, there's no way. But it would be on horses. But uh, that's sad too, because that was so doable for BOA. Yep, <laughs> one one final round to decide if they get four out or three one. BOA's been in here practicing too, like. Uh, not as early as I would have liked them to have gotten on, but they got to practice a bit more with B-Pow. Yeah, last time I talked to SMB, he said B-Pow like basically doesn't practice. He was like, "Yeah, we just um, he's like we just kind of like hang out and show up." <laughs> yeah, exactly. They see that's the difference between BOA and B-Pow is a lot of the B-Pow players will play when we're playing. Like our main usually it's. It'll be Remus, Sammy, and I, and then Quan gets on too. But that's like our main, that's the main people generally on. I haven't been playing for the last couple of weeks though, because I'm just bored of this game. But, yeah. I just and, make a point to play one day out of the week for practice. That's all I've been doing. That's all I can manage to do, like motivation wise. Sammy, Remus, and I were for quite a while there, like every single day playing quite a few, a few hours a day. <laughs> I, I do six v six as if we can. Player. We did. Oh my god, we did a. So it's good practice for them. Because we've gotten like ten to twenty like new people from Bannerlord Online, and they have literally half of them had never even heard of Captain's Mode. They didn't know there were other modes and like multiplayer for Bannerlord somehow. And Weird. Tiger was one of them. Tiger, one of the guys you got, is one of them. And we like we did like in house six v sixes, and that was so fun. Like like getting to teach people and show them like how different and like the different aggros and everything. And they were just like, man, this is like insane. Like this is insanely fun. How do we not know this was here? We're just like, yeah, you missed all the fun, man. <laughs> we're just like, yeah. Better luck next year. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was already thinking about organizing another money tour tournament for uh, after the finals. Me and uh, who was it? It might have might have been Monkey. That was I don't know. We were talking about something like that and like organizing a. Uh... Oh no 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 not a, not a draft. It'll actually it'll be a money tournament, but it'll be a. Uh... Like actual just teams, you enter your teams, and, and it'd probably be done over a weekend, like if not just a day, depending on how many teams would be interested. Yeah, that's more or less to try to get the skirmish players to play. <laughs> I would be interested solely for the money. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Some some people like even if it's not a lot of money, like people like to make money playing a game they're good at because they feel like a gamer. Like that that's a gamer moment. You know, it's like, yeah, I've made some money because I'm so good at that game, but it's what else, you know. I mean it's the same orb in the box. I mean it's it's the same as like like uh poker players, right? Like poker's fun in itself. But like when there's money involved, like people are like, yeah, I actually I've made quite a few thousand dollars off of poker, you know, and then so you feel like a poker player. I think it's a good way to explain it, <laughs> but I also get it like for me, like the money doesn't really matter, like especially if it's only like 50 bucks or something like that. I'm like, dude, all right, like 
I don't, I don't really care about the 50 bucks. I usually donate mine. So I, I don't, I like to think it goes to a good cause, but I have no idea where the money goes. <laughs> That's what I'd like to do. Like buy a, like buy a game for somebody like, I don't know, buy banner Lord for somebody. But then again, it's like everyone that's playing already has Bannerlord, so you know. Yeah, I actually I forget what game it was, but I remember they put out like an announcement on Steam for like a tournament. It might have been Warband, actually. It was some thing. It was like the dev sponsored it, and they're like, "Oh, we're giving away like six game keys to the winning teams." It's like, what are they going to do with that? <laughs> they already yeah, we already have the game. <laughs> yeah, like, and it was like multiple game keys per person. It's like what, <laughs> like. <laughs> It's like, well, I remember when Bannerlord first came out. I think it was Bannerlord. Anyway, the, like Intel had like a, the Intel had released their new chips or whatever, and then they had like a, a prize thing on it or whatever. But it was like not even the new chips, and it wasn't the last gen. It was the generation before that. Maybe this wasn't Bannerlord. It was I don't know, dude. It was some game, but everyone was making fun of them. They're like, "Oh, this game's not even worth them giving the new chips." <laughs> Purple tray. Oh, I mean, those the the whole microchip thing. Like, I don't think people realize how uh, how in demand they are right now. Like, literally, the automotive industry and the tech industry are literally fighting over any microchips we can get. Honda, yeah, like Honda has had to had to do furloughs and shut down plants because they can't compete with the tech industry over the microchips that they need to put in vehicles. So they're having to lay down, like they're having to lay off people because. Because uh, basically, you know, Honda is giving like 30 bucks for these microchips to put in these cars. But the tech industry is offering hundreds of dollars for these microchips so that they can sell these graphics cards for thousands of dollars. And uh, yeah, and so it's like because of co that, along with being mixed. So there was a big uh, tech like uh, growth during COVID. And so that mixed with COVID because they couldn't, they had to shut down their own plants for microchips and shit like that and transportation and all that. And, uh, and uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for doing the deliveries and all that, that, that put like a big damper. And so now it's just basically everyone's fighting over it. And that's, that's also why you're having a hard time finding uh, graphics cards right now for decent prices. Yeah, well, yeah, that too, like, because crypto, all of this just hit all at once. Like, so cryptocurrency is really starting to take off too. And people are realizing that you can actually just mine crypto using these graphics cards. But I don't know, like, I got a, um, I'm sure you guys know Plantroon from uh, our clan. Um, he has a, a mining, a mining, a crypto mining nest. And he says that, like, for the equipment, you have to, spin and uh like to get everything set up and for the amount of electricity that it uses he said it's actually just cheaper just to try to find low value cryptos and just buy them What? Because he's uh, sponsored by Suits Gaming, so he wears a suit. I thought about wearing a suit. I never get to wear my suit. <laughs> I, th I thought about streaming one of these games as wearing my suit. It's... Yeah, I assume that's why <laughs> he wears a suit. <laughs> We've been harassing Steve <laughs> wearing a suit the whole time, and he's been. <laughs> But yeah, dude. I can, I think it's over by now too, because Sammy's messaging me saying how they got slammed. So we just got the last bit of the two minutes here. For the delay. Yep, yeah, looks like four oh. 
That's we crazy. That All right. That's crazy, man. That's unfortunate. I I mean, that was something else that I called from the beginning of the season after looking at the seating and the lineup. And that was something that SMB actually, he was like, really? You really think that? Like, I was like, dude, I was like, I'll be out. Cause he thought he asked if I thought BTL was going to win the season. I, I, and I said, I would be surprised if they made it to playoffs. And I said, not because of their lack of skill. I was like, they basically have to bring their a game every single weekend. <laughs> I was like, that's, that would be the only way they make it. And, uh, like, you know, it, it, it's hard to bring your A game every weekend. Like, ugh. Yeah. You got one by game, but, 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 you know, I understand what you're saying. Like, I knew it was going to be hard. Like, yeah, I mean, it, like I said, that's, that's why I was like, I'd be surprised because it literally, you would have to, and there was new, some of the teams you were facing were new teams. We had no idea how they were going to play, you know, and like, like DM, for example. Yeah. I, I didn't, uh, Forbes ranked them. Uh, B Squad ranked them. Cascade ranked them, and uh, there were other players too who ranked them, but they didn't want to be known. I'm I, my guess is that they were that they were in AG, and they didn't want it to be like the the season holders for ranking teams. And uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, I mean, it's I oh yeah, I think uh, some some members from KOV also ranked teams as well, but.